Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a step-by-step -step Murph AI tutorial. In this video, I will be walking you through all of the Murph AI features, including the voices and voice actors that you can choose, how to customize these voices in any way, how you can turn your text to speech into an entire YouTube video and much more. Now, the first thing that we need to do is sign up for a Murph AI account. If you do not yet have an account and you would like to sign up for the the free trial, you can do so using the first link down in the description. Once you click on that link, you will be taken over to this page right here, and this is where we can sign up for a free Murph AI account. All we have to do is click on sign up in this top right corner, and then we can sign up by using Google, Microsoft, Slack, or with just an email and password. Once you have signed up, you will be taken over to this screen, and this is the main Murph dashboard. Over here on the left hand side, we have the homepage, and this is where we can create projects, create folders, or invite teammates if you want to collaborate with your team when using Murph AI. We can also create new folders and projects using these two buttons in the top right corner. Over here on the left hand side, this is a shared with me folder. So if you know other people who are using Murph AI and they share specific files or workspaces with you, you will be able to access them right here. We can also see some pre-built templates from Murph AI, and you can play around with these, use all of these different templates and really see what they do. Finally, we have this trash section, and this is if you delete any of your Murph projects and want to get them back, you can get them back using this area. But let's go back to the home screen. Folders are pretty self-explanatory, and we can just use these for organization. So if I create a new folder just like this, that is going to show up on this left hand side and then we can create new projects inside of different folders to make sure you are organized and you know where everything is. In here, we can then create a new project, create a title for this. So I'm just going to call this test and then we can choose if this is going to be an audio or video file. Now it doesn't really matter and we can mix and match this. So I'm just going to set this to audio for now, and then let's start off with a blank template. We can create this project, and now this is going to load in to the editor right here, and this is the main Murph editor. So first of all, along the top, you will notice this is where we can enter in text. We can also change the speaker at the top by clicking on the speaker button, and this is going to take us over to this area where we can see all of the different voices and people we can get for this voiceover. The majority of these are going to be tagged as pro, which of course means that you do have to upgrade your account to access these. However, we also have this section on the left hand side where we can customize and choose what voice we want to select. We can go ahead and hide the pro voices and this is only going to show us voices that we can access for free. We can also change the accent or the language that they speak in from this option right here. Let's go ahead and switch this to English. We can also choose the voice or the gender of this and also the age group. We can also take a listen to how this voice is going to sound before we select this by clicking on this play icon and this is going to give us a sample of that voice. Did you know that three in four products in the supermarket? So you can listen to them before you select. I'm just going to go ahead and select Katie. And then in this next section, we can choose how this sounds. Now, Katie might not have been the best example of this, as we can only have Katie sounding conversational. But let's try somebody else. Let's go for Miles. And then in here, now we have this different voice selected. We can now choose how we want him to sound. We can have him sounding calm, sad, angry, like a promotional video, a narration, and these are some really cool features and filters that you can put on each of your voices. We can also adjust the pitch using this slider right here. If we go up, this is going to make it a higher pitch, and if we go down, this is going to give him a lower pitch. We can also change the speed of the voice, and this is something that you're going to want to play around with, tweak and change for every different person or voice actor you choose. Then we can simply go down to this text box and enter in what we want this person to say. 
I'm going to make this guy say subscribe to GeForce North and then we can click on play to generate this audio and hear how this sounds. Subscribe to GeForce North. So you just heard it right there. We can also go ahead and change the speed and the pitch. And you will notice this is going to sound slightly different. Subscribe to GeForce North. So that's very basic, but let's now go ahead and type out a little bit more here. So once that is typed out, we can go to different sections in the script where we want to add in a pause and click on add pause. I'm going to add a pause between where he says subscribe to GeForce North and it's the best channel in the world. So I want to go right after the last word where I want to add in a pause, click add pause, and we can choose the length of the pause. I'm going to go for medium. And as you can see, that's going to add in a medium pause. Let's pull the uh, pitch and speed down to normal. And another thing that I want to show you is you can also change the pronunciation of certain words. If you want to do this, just double click on the word that you want to change the pronunciation of. And then we can click on this pronunciation above and choose the pronunciation we want to add this to. We can listen to the pronunciation by clicking on this preview button. YouTube. And we can also listen to some other suggestions. YouTube. YouTube. Once you have found the pronunciation you want to add, we can simply select this and that pronunciation is now updated and this is going to show by this red outline. Once again, we can click on play and generate this audio and let's take a look at how this version is now going to sound. Subscribe to GeForce North. It's the best channel on YouTube. As you can see, we had that in right there, it added the pause and it pronounced YouTube in the way that we set this up. Now, let's say that we don't just want to add a sentence like this, and instead we want to create an entire YouTube script. In this example, I'm just going to use ChatGPT to create me an example script, and this is for the top 10 dog breeds. So I'm going to copy this entire thing, and then simply paste this into Murph. And once I go to put this in, we can choose how we separate this script up. We can choose by paragraph, by different sentences, or don't split. And we can see how this is going to look on the right hand side. In this example, I'm going to go for split script by paragraphs and then click paste script. And as you can see, that script is now going to be added in. There are certain elements I want to delete here. For example, where it says title, I don't want him to say that. So I'm just going to delete this. This introduction section is also not something I want to have. So we can click on these three dots and then delete this right here. We can move around the order of this script. First of all, we can go to each individual paragraph, hold these dots and then drag this and drop this down to wherever we want to change this around to. We can also change the speaker for each paragraph. For example, maybe I want Miles or this man voice to speak this top section, but in here, as the host, I want to add a different speaker. So what I can do is select that paragraph, click into this option, and then select a new speaker. Let's go for Millie right here, add her in. And as you can see, Miles is now going to speak this top paragraph, and Millie is going to speak this second paragraph. We once again have these options that we can tweak and change, such as the pitch and speed. At the bottom here, we can drag up this timeline, and right now, this is going to show us a timeline of the entire video. Right now, we just have text in here, so if we zoom in using this slider on the right hand side, we can see the timeline for all of this different text. But we can take this video to the next level by actually turning this into a video and adding different media. You can do this by using this timeline section, clicking on add, and then we can upload your own media from your computer, or we can choose stock images and videos that are by default here on Muff. As this is about dogs, I can go to stock videos and type in dog, and this is going to bring up a lot of different videos that are to do with dogs. So if I want to add this one in right here, I can simply select this, choose the duration of this and how long on the timeline I want to add this. But what I usually do to get a better track of the video flow is add this to timeline as the default. And then we can actually edit this on the timeline so that we can have the images and videos matching up with the text. So that video is now added to the timeline. 
So I can go ahead and just use these blue lines at the bottom to choose where I want to clip this video to. If I just want this over this first section, I can simply drag this in right here. And now this is only going to be in this first section. We can add new media by clicking on this button and once again, uploading from the computer, images and stock videos. We also have the option to add music by going to this music option, clicking on add, and then we can add in a music block and choose from any of this music that we want to add in. If I want to add this, I can select the music, go to next, add this to the timeline, and then once again, use this toolbar along the bottom to clip this to exactly where I want to add the music in this video. So I'm just going to delete the music right here. And then we can also take a preview of how this video is going to look. Let's click on play. Top 10 dog breeds that will steal your heart. And as you can see, we now have a video saying exactly what I asked it to say. And we also have the media showing down here. Another thing that I want to mention is you saw me paste in and effectively type out what is said here. Alternatively, if you have a script that is saved as a text, a document, anything like that, you can simply import the file into here and Murph will read all of this in the exact same way. Once you are happy with how this looks and you have created your video, we can go up to export in this top right corner and then choose if we want to export this as a video, voice only, voice and music, or just the script. And for certain elements of this, you will have to upgrade your plan to get full access to all of the Murph features. So that is my step-by-step -step tutorial on Murph AI. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.